I am Adil Kumar and here is a test question on limits at infinity. You need to estimate limit as x approaches minus infinity for square root of x square plus x plus 1 plus 1. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So the question here is to find limit as x approaches minus infinity okay, of the function which is x square plus x plus 1 square root plus x. That's the function for you. Now whenever you have square root functions kind of like this, uh, then rationalization is the process by which you should go, right? So we'll rationalize this. So always rationalize and then you can easily find the solution. So we could write this as equal to limit x approaches minus infinity. So the function is uh, square root of x square plus x plus 1 square root plus x. Rationalize means we'll multiply and divide by its conjugate which is square root of x square plus x plus 1 minus x divided by square root of x square plus x plus 1 minus x. You get it. So that is how you rationalize. And now what you get here is limit x approaches minus infinity. So the numerator will be a square minus b square. So square of square root will give you uh, x square plus x plus 1 and then minus x square. That becomes a numerator and the denominator will be what you have here, right? So you have x squared plus x plus 1 minus x. Now let me uh, take x squared common here. So what I'm doing here is instead of just copying it like that, I'm introducing one more step. So I'm taking x squared common, okay. In that case, within square root I'm left with 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x squared. Is that clear to you? This is within square root and we have minus x here. Perfect. Now we'll go one more step further. We can simplify this as limit x approaches minus infinity. x square minus x square is 0. So we're left with x plus 1 in the numerator divided by. Now look here. Within square root, we have x square. What is square root of x square? It is absolute value of x, not just x. Remember this part, you could make this mistake, right? So, and then within square root, we are left with 1 plus 1 over x plus 1 over x square minus x. Perfect. Now, as x approaches negative infinity, what happens to absolute x? Look here. Absolute x is defined like this. It is x for x greater than or equal to 0 and it's minus x for x less than 0. So this becomes minus x as x approaches negative infinity. Do you get it? Okay. So in that case, uh, what we can, and secondly, a uh, couple of things, right? So uh, what we will do here is that, uh, we'll introduce few things here, uh, which is as x approaches minus infinity, absolute x can be taken as uh, minus x, right? Since it is in this domain, right? And also, 1 over x or 1 over x square approaches 0, 1 over a large number, correct? So based on that, we could actually rewrite this particular equation as x approaches minus infinity. And also, you know, this value x plus 1 approaches x, correct? So we'll introduce this in two steps. Let me take this as x limit x approaches minus infinity. I'll keep the numerator as such for the time being. But this part is important. I'll write this as minus x, right? So minus x. And within square root, I have uh, all these are approaching 0. So let me, let me take this as 1. Okay, let me write this. Yeah, it's kind of complicated already. So I don't want to do two steps at the same time. Anyway, so what we get here is uh, minus x times square root of this 
minus x and in the numerator we have uh, x plus 1 okay now as x approaches negative infinity x is very large so so 1 is very small as compared to that large number so the numerator could be written as just x correct and in the denominator we have minus x within the square root 1 over x approaches 0 1 over x square also approaches 0 so we get just square root of 1 let me write square root of 1 for the time being with two zeros so that you're clear how we got these zeros this is the limit when x approaches very large 1 over x approaches 0 and we have minus x here is that okay now this expression is x over now that is 1 so x over minus 2x do you see that so x over minus 2x and that is equal to minus half and therefore the limit of this function as x approaches minus infinity is minus half is that clear Amadil Kumar I'd like you to go through this video understand what we did in each step that would be good for you you can always share and subscribe to my videos if you like you can put some likes also thank you and all the best